Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss all the observable and promises in Angular 15. If we talk about like what is the observable, so we use observable to perform asynchronous operation and to handle the asynchronous data. Another way to handle this asynchronous data in Angular is by using the promises. So in Angular, we can handle asynchronous operation or the asynchronous data by using the either observable or the promises. So now the question is what is the asynchronous operation and asynchronous data? So if we already know like Java script is a single threaded programming language means the code execute line by line and once the execution of code complete then only the next code of the line will execute. So if a task taking long time to execute then another task like the task which is coming the next uh, in the row has to wait until the previous task doesn't complete. So once the previous task will complete then only the next task will come. So that is the problem with the single threaded programming language. So here we can say syn synchronous like this is the single threaded in the sense it is a synchronous programming language. So we can say synchronous code is executing here and like it is blocking another task so synchronous code is the blocking now in this picture the asynchronous uh, programming comes so in asynchronous programming what it do it execute the code simultaneously now what is the meaning of the simultaneously so first of all like asynchronous code execute in the background without blocking the execution of the code in the main thread so asynchronous code is non-blocking means we can make multiple requests simultaneously or asynchronously. So in Angular to perform the asynchronous program mean we have two ways either we can use the promises or, or the observable. So now if we talk about the difference between the promises and the observable. So for an example in this picture you can see from the browser we are giving the multiple requests. Now these requests can be anything like for an example we are sending couple of the normal request and couple of the HTTP client request. Now in case of the promises what happened if I am sending any the request from here to the server. Now in the server side for an example it is um, like uh, to perform some operation it is hitting to the database and it is taking long time to execute. Now in case of the promises what happened like it give the response at once only in the sense once it will get the full output of the request then it will give that response now for an example I am giving one uh, I am giving one re uh, request now the output of that request is basically either it, can, it uh, give the re response as in two or three response it gives so in the case of the promises what it happened it take the output all those responses and as a package it sent uh, as a response so it will not um, give uh, like response simultaneously like uh, in the uh, like basically in the streaming way in continuous way in the promises it gives the response at once but if we talk about the observable so what happened like uh, in the case of the observable it gave the um, like response in the streaming way in the packages uh, way for an example we are sending one request the response of this request is like uh, basically three requests it is giving like one is the success and another with that success it is giving the output also so what happened in the case of the observable it gave the response simultaneously in the streaming way and it do that operation using the subscribe that we will discuss in the uh, coming videos what is the meaning of the subscribe so that is the advantage when we go with the observable now in angular we can use uh, either promises or observable to handle the asynchronous data both get the post and the get method of the http and http client return observable and basically in the observable if we are using internally what it do it convert it into the promises using the dot to promise method so what happened if we use uh, like the difference basically so prom promise emits a single value while observable emits 
multiple value in the sense in the case of the promises once it get the full response then only it give that output but in case of the observable it emits multiple value so while handling http request promises can manage a single response for the same request but what if there are multiple response of the same request then we have to use the observable using the observable it can handle multiple response for the same request another advantage of using the observable is observable is a cancelable in nature by using the unsubscribe method that also we will see in the coming video but promises is not cancelable in the nature a promise is not lazy but observable is the lazy that is the another advantage of the observable now how it happened basically so like basically promises is a feature of the javascript it is basically native to javascript or it is provided by the javascript but observable is not a feature of the javascript of the angular or the angular so basically observable is provided by the another javascript library called rxjs and it is a reactive extension library for javascript we will discuss more on the rxjs also in the coming videos so rxjs is a javascript library that allow us to work with the asynchronous data streaming in the sense like basically if we talk about the asynchronous programming then it, like with the rxjs so it has two things one is the observable and observer so using the subscribe it observe observe the data and another way when we use the promises and the observable so if we are consuming the data then only observable give the response but promises always give the response so that is the another advantage of using now if you want to install this rxjs then we we have the npm install rxjs command through that we can install it so this is the way and the difference between the promises and the observable in angular in the coming video we will implement the observable and see how it works in the nature so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you